Wow. I've got my own museum. <laughs> Look at this. Hey. Come and join me. We're going to take you on a little journey. Wow. It's quite weird seeing lots of me. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, not, it's not bad, though. Oh, look. You polish up well. Look at him. That innocent young man. I don't think I was even innocent then. <laughs> <laughs> well, rather conveniently, you've picked out the shot where we're going to start. Williams and uh, the great man himself, Sir Frank Williams. The most amazing year of my life. If I made a mistake, it didn't matter. You know, Patrick Head and Frank were like, you know, it's, it's understandable you're young. Don't worry about it. You go out there and just have fun. The young Englishman, he's only 20 years old. He's driving an absolute storm. We have just one picture, if I can bring you here, from your uh, Benetton period, because I kind of figure this is... You've got is... a big black permanent marker pen that I can you want to do a nice cross through that. that. Now, ironically enough, Flavio uh, made the comment that, you, you know, you were kind of going through a playboy phase of your career because yeah. you... You, you had a nice boat and you chose to have it in the harbour. Yeah. This was a really difficult year for me. When you're not doing a good enough job, people have to try and find a reason for it. And he pointed the finger at, I was a playboy or I had a boat in the harbour and fair enough, maybe I did enjoy life too much, but I enjoy life just as much now, but nobody asks any questions because yeah. I'm doing all right. They said he might never win a Grand Prix. He's proved the critics wrong. These are possibly the biggest eyes in Formula One. <laughs> that, that, that is a great iconic shot from your first victory. It's one of those races that I just did not want to end. You know, some drivers say I just wanted to get to the finish, I was leading, wanted to get over and, and done with, but I just wanted to savour every moment of that victory. It, I didn't know when the next one would come, so I really wanted to enjoy that moment. Honda is pulling out of Grand Prix racing. The announcement means that hundreds of jobs in Britain are at risk. Out of the ashes of Honda, you went into an uncertain winter. It looked at some point as if the team were going to have to close the doors. 2008 was a, was a tough year for us as a team, and then the winter came where we thought we, were, we didn't have a job. So a lot of hard work by everyone to, to get this car built and get it running and have a team. We got to the first test in Barcelona and Shove, my engineer, looked at me and said, JB, you are one and a half seconds quicker than anyone, which was the start of, of great things, yeah. Well, if you want your champion to grab the initiative, he's doing it at the moment. Let's go, let's go! We are world champions! World champions! Go! I got back to my hotel room and just sat there on my own, just going through everything that happened, the positives through my career, the negatives, there were quite a few um, and then trying to piece everything together and realize this is this is what I've dreamt about my whole life and worked towards I've achieved it what do I do now and that's why you know the idea of, of racing at McLaren and racing alongside Lewis but against Lewis as well was an exciting challenge for me and that's why I went that direction we didn't really talk that much we're quite different characters um, but we work well together and for me, in terms of the fight with a teammate, this was like the best team that I could have had. You know, he was so fast, so fast in qualifying. He was quicker than me in qualifying. In the race, it was a different story, and we could have some amazing battles. It brings us, rather conveniently, to that big challenge and to yeah. possibly two images that show your, your greatest race, if I may say so. You, you will probably put it down as a world championship in Brazil, but the race that people still talk about today is Canada. Started seventh, I had a good fight with Lewis in the first couple of laps, and uh, obviously this happened, and then I crashed with Fernando as well. I broke my front wing, got a puncture, got a drive-through penalty, five pit stops, was it's last twice. Sounds like Nigel Mansell yeah. here for a minute. <laughs> the, Carried the car over exactly, the... Exactly, yeah, well, it felt like that. Um, but I think it was just the perfect race to, you know, I think it just shows you should never, never give up. It's one of those races that you dream about. You never think it's actually going to happen. And when it does happen, you know it's never going to happen again. He's got the lead! Button leads the Grand Prix! <laughs> Guys, that was a hell of a race! It's been an amazing journey. We couldn't talk about your career if we didn't talk about that special relationship you had with your father. Papa B, and we, we have a nice image here, and I know this is going to be difficult, Jensen, and it's, we all feel it because uh, he was such a big part of the paddock, as well as, of yeah. course, your life and your career. My parents split up when I was young, and uh, Dad would have me on the weekends, um, 
And it was such a nice, yeah, bond between father and son. Celebrating those great moments together was very special. Also, going through the pain together was quite difficult, um, but he was always there for me. And uh, it's great that I have my friends around and my family around at races, uh, especially in the difficult times. And, uh, you know, the last few months have been those difficult times. But there's one person that obviously, you know, that knows me probably better than myself, really. And that's, well, was this boy, so. Yeah, it's, it's been a difficult year. And it's not going to get any easier soon. Well, it is inevitably a somewhat sad note, of course, to, to end on. But I think that when you look around, you see all these images from your career. He was, of course, your biggest fan. He'd be very proud of the way you've conducted yourself. We at the BBC, we have a little something that we'd like to give you, which is, it's not a red book of <laughs> this is your life, but this is your 15 years in Formula awesome. One. It's a white book to give you some nice memories of the journey. And we wait. We're not going to hold our breath because we know it's going to take <laughs> some time before we know about your future, but we very much hope that we'll be adding a 16th year to that. Jensen, thank you very much. Congratulations on your career. Thank and you. Thanks for your time. Let's hug it out. Come on, DC. Out.